So I had a problem with the condenser fan motor that I just changed. I found it dead and I just replaced it. It's right here. I just replaced it. This is uh, the old one. The new one I put in and I found out why it's dead. I'll show you. So the motor's been replaced and there's this chase here that York has put in. It's kind of like a, a channel and you got to snap it in place. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get back in this hole and get out of this hole but anyway it's all done I got to zip tie all these wires nice and neat afterwards but I wanted to show you exactly what was going on here this ICM board is wired correctly it's been double checked various times it's wired right but there's a problem with it I'm gonna show you what happens and how it cycles the fan what it's supposed to do is maintain a certain speed to maintain a certain coil temperature but it's not doing that and I'll show you exactly what's going on with the amp draw of this motor. Okay, so it's on now and you can see this motor is having a hard time starting, a hard time rotating. And if we look at the amp probe, 1.2 amps. This motor is rated for 0.58. That's not good. But what happens is when the coil warms up to a certain temperature, this starts to rotate at full speed. It overcools, the liquid line gets really, really cold and then it stops and locks back up. That is not supposed to happen with this controller. I know that because I've been dealing with them now for a few months and you can see it's starting to ramp up now. Running full bore, all right. The amps start to drop off. But what happens is when this coil gets down below a certain temperature, this thing just stops dead and locks up, and I'll show you what happens. It just stops dead and locks up and starts to make this noise. That's what killed the last motor that was in here. So luckily for me, there's an identical unit right here. And what I did was I pulled the ICM board out of there because what you can do is if you have identical systems, you can swap parts if you really want to to make sure that your diagnosis is verified so that's what I did here just to show you guys I pulled the ICM board out of the old one and here is my amp probe on the fan wire okay so if we go to start this up our fan slowly starts to ramp up the way it should and right now we're actually not drawing any amps but you'll see as it starts to ramp up as the heat of this condenser really starts to to get up there you'll see that there we go it's starting to spin all right now we're starting to draw amperage big difference on what happened before so just something you guys can do if you're in a bind is if you have adjacent equipment that has the same parts in it you can use them for verification purposes you, you can even use them to go back and forth with your meter to check different things to check if they're wired correctly so on and so forth so just a little tip for you guys happy HVACing